Hi guys, it's Team Nitro 26, and here's a little review slash what I think of the car. So, all right, so and I changed two things in here, uh, two major things basically. Well, first of all, you can probably see that Jam and JP3, and another thing I have a fuel filter, and then uh. I got this idea off of Artu Kumai, and uh, he said that uh, there's some spacers that came with the kit where all the parts are, and they they go right under there to save the life of the servos. I don't think the servos are bad; they're just a little like if you well the chassis hits them, hits the bottom of them and knocks them out. So yeah, as you saw, my new body was on there. So now I have that body, this body, and the RTR body. Alright, now I'm going to show you how these servos work. I was going to set the points because I already did, but um, I sort of messed them up when I took the servos out. One more. Alright, there we go. Alright, so here's the servos. And that's on the stock battery. And here's the throttle. They seem slow on camera, but they're really not. They get it done pretty good. I gotta adjust that. Maybe not. Well, I adjusted the endpoints of it, and it they're really good now. What I'm gonna do is I'm ordering high techs. Uh, I'm actually, I'm ordering a whole bunch of stuff from May Main Hobbies. Um. One thing that I'm ordering is a transponder that I'm just going to zip tie like right there. Two high tech servos, the uh, 7954 for the throttle or the steering, and the 5645 for the throttle. And another thing would be um, the turbo head for this. And, um,. Oh yeah, uh, hold on, let me get this thing off the starter box. Alright, so, I'm getting de-erasing skid plates, and the front bump skid, I'm getting both of them. Oh, and another thing would be, I'm getting the mud guards, the de-erasing mud guards, and I think that's it. Um, I have, I'm not going to be breaking this engine in for a while. When I'm going to, when I break this in, it's going to be right before, like, a week before one of my races. Because I want to have a half gallon put on this, which is about eight tanks. And then I want to have another half gallon to race for the day. So, that'll be good. And, uh, I still have to oil this filter. Because it doesn't come oiled, I don't think. So, and the good thing about this thing is that, uh, well, I eventually will get aluminum shock caps too, but, uh, and probably tune flex chassis and stuff like that. But I have a new rear diff just in case this one blows out, which it's known to do, so, yeah. I have not run this yet, so it'll be just a uh, quick video on what I like. I love the engine because with the uh, with the um, turbo on it, probably go around 55 miles an hour. Those servos are pretty good. I'm not. I'm pretty surprised with them. They're pretty good. The shocks. I wish they came with aluminum shock casts, but they're pretty decent. I sort of like them. 
the chassis and the shock towers, alright, they're okay for a while, just probably about three or so, three or four months, depending on how many times you race. But I race a lot, so, yeah. Um, so I'll be probably changing this out to Tune Flex eventually. $105 chassis and like $37 uh, shock tower, so it's crazy. But, um, I'm actually going to go on my computer and show you all that I'm getting from A-Main. I just up uploaded my, uh, well, I didn't just upload it, I did a little bit ago. But, um, you guys probably just saw my face. I'm going to go into the internet. See, I have all my choices of engines and everything. Alright, A-Main Hobbies. Hopefully I don't have to sign in. Nope. Alright, so here we go. I am getting the Dynamite the Dynamite US startup tool set. Um, I don't think you can see that. There's the turbo head. DE Racing skid plates. The front bump skid by DE Racing. The mud guards by DE Racing. Two clutch clutch bearing sets. And there is the 7954 high voltage 7.4 volt ultra ultra torque servo. They're ninety nine dollars. I'm getting three O'Donnell ninety seven T scale off road medium turbo glow plugs. Here is the high tech HS sixty fifty six forty five. That's forty seven dollars servo. And there's the personal transponder, which is a hundred and five bucks. <clears throat> there's my big list. And to start, that's I don't know if you can see this, but that is 351.17. It's a lot because I'm selling my buggy and I'm getting 500 for it, so hopefully I can get all this stuff. Probably by, uh, I'm not sure because there's a hurricane coming up here and I don't know when my next race is going to be, so that sort of made me. A little mad because I don't like well this is the first hurricane I've ever been through basically so yeah and uh that's about it guys and hopefully I can get to a race one of these days and bring the buggy and get my five hundred dollars um but other than that uh stay tuned guys for more videos and I will see you later please comment rate subscribe